that Nani 6.5 really works. Sometimes product updates need a closer look before the new enhancements they boast become apparent. Although there are a number of small alterations on the principal screen of NetNanny 6.5, revealing at $39.99 for one, or $59.98 for a pack of three, there are actually important improvements hidden beneath the surface. NetNanny continues to be the leading choice for more conventional parental control, with its solid concentration on differentiating between sensible and unsuitable activities. It handles multiple children in one family flexibly. You are able to make use of the same default option for a profile for each child, specify individual profiles, or connect NetNanny profiles with accounts on Windows. Should you decide to make a new user profile you can make use of templates based on the age of the child, or simply replicate the settings of existing users, all in all a very simple process. NetNanny can deflect internet sites in 35 different categories for each user profile. Its display shows the 12 categories most usually blocked by default, and clicking will reveal the remainder. NetNanny is able to warn children when they attempt to enter unsuitable sites, like the free online afamily.norton, and parents will be notified if the child chooses to proceed despite being warned. NetNanny is able to filter content at the protocol level, so it is able to work with all browsers. If its filtering begins to cause trouble for non-browser applications, you are able to stipulate exceptions. NetNanny displays pop-up boxes of dialogue that explain why certain sites are inaccessible, and, if the settings you've set allow for it, these boxes may allow for a button which would overwrite the deflection either by means of a password or by sending an exception request to the parent's administrator account. You can optionally configure NetNanny to show deflected message pages inside the browser, or to imitate an error in the browser for each user, but only the standard dialogue will grant complete access to all of its features. In common with the majority of content failures, NetNanny makes use of a database which associates the sites noted with various categories. Contrary to most, however, it is able to extend beyond it as well. For detailed management of areas of the internet that include some content that is safe and other content that is not, NetNanny makes us of a potent and powerful engine for context investigation that occurs in real time. During testing, it was found that NetNanny was successful in denying access to inappropriate videos on YouTube, while allowing the more innocent ones. Over at aside for short stories, the only content that was blocked was that which was deemed inappropriate, and that at cartoon artists' site only the adult cartoons were not visible.